it's cold, but there's no clouds anywhere. It's very sunny, which brings me on to a conversation that I want to start about shadows. Do shadows have weight? Does a, like, does a shadow have a weight? Like, it seems like a silly question because you can't exactly put a shadow on a weighing scales and measure it, but maybe there is a way because it's scientifically known that light, that, that light actually pushes, uh, has a push. And uh, the fact that we know that, then maybe we can try and measure shadows. Like we already have solar sails, we have satellites that rely on sails that are pushed because of the light from the sun. So we all know that the speed of light is very fast. It's the fastest thing known to man. It travels about 200,000 miles per second. 200,000 miles per second. That's the speed of light. Okay, so we all know that space is vastly huge that it takes years at times for light to actually travel from one point in space to the other point in space. Um, even though it's like the quickest thing ever known, it still takes time. It could take years. It could take as it's known as light years. But I have a theory for you. What if, uh, what if I have a plank which is the size of space, let's say for example, a big plank of wood. It's the size of space, let's say. And there's a button on the other end of space and I'm on the other side of space and I push one end of that plank of wood. Like I push it from one end, there's gonna be a reaction on the other end of the plank of wood and that's going to hit the button. So, technically speaking, did I just do something? Did my action cause a reaction that's actually faster than light? So, is light really the, la the fastest thing known to us? I don't know. I mean, like, I've just given you a theory. Like, I could do something and my reaction could, res the response could be much faster than light. Now, obviously, I'm speaking theoretically because, you know, we can't have a piece of wood bigger, like that big. But, in theory, I'm right. Well, it actually turns out that that question was put to a few scientists and they, their response was, well, actually, no. Um, even if you push that piece of wood, the reaction time on the other end of the plank would be a lot slower than light. Light would still get there faster and the wood wouldn't react on time by the time light gets there, gets there because when you're pushing the plank, it's hitting an atom, which is hitting another atom, which is hitting another atom, which is hitting another atom. And it will just basically react all the way down the length of the plank to have the reaction, but that's still slower than is if you were to shoot a torch or a light or a laser along the plank, that the light would actually get there faster.